Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Undead Nightmare. When we last left off, we found our new horse, Dave the Hungry. Uh, and he is kind of buggered off somewhere. And we also found a buffalo rifle from Saving a Town. And we got Henry the Henry Repeater as well, which uh, I'd wager would be significantly more useful. Um, so, let's continue saving more towns. Because that seems to be the way to go about business. Come here, my friend. So I did look up Famine a little bit, or should I say Mr. Dave. Uh, apparently not only has he unlimited stamina, like all of them, but the game... Um, Dave. Uh, Dave. Dave. Buddy. Uh, Dave. Um, you, uh, um, uh, Dave. This way, please. Come on. Uh, oh dear. Okay, so whilst Dave is having difficulties... Oh shit, I thought Dave was free then. Let's just wander off until he hopefully respawns. At a better location. Dave, there we go. Here he comes. Yes, so what the game doesn't tell you is... Um, well, actually, the game tells you he has unlimited stamina. But his actual real trait is he's the fastest uh, of all the horses. Which suits me down to the ground. And, uh, my god, he does feel extremely fast compared to the last horse. So, that's nice. Let's start making our way over here. Hopefully we're going to run into some towns on the way. And it feels so good just being able to mash the A button as well with no shits given. We can just continue moving at top speed. Damn living horses. Bah! No good to man or beast, I say. Probably explains why Dave's so hungry all the time. You know, with us charging around like madmen. Now, I can't remember how many towns there are in Mexico. I think there's less towns in Mexico. Uh, and in fact, Mexico in general is sh uh, much smaller. Well, I say much smaller. It's not really much smaller. Um, but it is smaller. So that's okay. And we are literally flying as Dave. He is definitely faster. That is now massively obvious. In fact, if the Flash had a horse, it would probably be Dave the Hungry. Yeah, we've already flown quite far. So we've saved that place. I don't think there's going to be a town down there. There's a town there, though. At least, I'm assuming that's a town. Ah, we'll figure it out as we go, my friends. We always do. He's going to have a nice chilled charge. And I'm quite looking forward to using our repeater a little bit as well. Because I'm a bit of a fan of the repeater. I think they're really cool rifles. And I think this one actually is uh, quite significantly better than the last one we had. <clears throat> However, obviously the problem is, in this game mode, is it doesn't really matter because... Essentially, the weakest handgun is just as uh, useful as the most powerful rifle. Because it only takes one shot to the head to kill a zombie. You see? So, yeah. It, hmm. Getting new weapons is kind of a moot point. Apart from the blunderbuss. Yeah. The blunderbuss is fantastic. Tippy top. As uh, the, the missus would say. Tippy top. I do like that. Tippy top. Just like we have a tippy top horse. Oh, going off country. Yeah. Somebody said on one of the forums that there's no speed. There's no speed penalty for going off road with fam famine. Uh, there definitely is, actually. You can definitely feel the, uh, feel the speed decrease. But it isn't very significant. Whereas with the other horses, it's quite a huge difference. Oh, I don't know, actually. Maybe there isn't. Ah, yeah. Maybe there isn't, actually, guys. Maybe there is no speed penalty. Oh, no, 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 no. He definitely does kick up to a high gear when we're on the road. Though it is kind of weird seeing how skinny he is. I kind of feel sorry for him, in a way. <gasps> Ooh. 
Right, new town found. Let's go save the town first. Once we've unlocked all of the towns. Oh, I think there's an achievement as well for unlocking all of the towns and keeping them all safe at the same time. So, bear that in mind. There we go. Ooh, I remember this town. Chuparosa. Town is under attack. You think? What gives you that idea? Ooh, dear. What gives you that idea? Is that a living dog or is that an undead dog? Ah, he seems like a good sort. Right, let's go chopping. There we go. Ooh, damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not realise that that chap was of the explodey variety. Really? You survived a chop to the head. I have another one. There's always more chops to the head to go around. Ooh. You're not as accurate as you like to think you are, my friend. Okay. Now, you can pretty much always get to... Zombies. Uh, one zombie, I should say. In the explosion radius for these guys. But game two is actually seemingly... Uh oh, Ooh, she's a tough cookie, too. Um, oh, man. Lots of fiery undead. Hang on. Fire bottle. Let's go for undead bait. Ooh. Famine, what are you doing? Fam famine. Famine, what are you doing? What? The apparent leader has died. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. So now we can't really save the town. Okay, that's interesting. I'm curious to what um, help they actually give you anyway. Hmm. That's kind of a bull ache, actually. The temptation to restart is quite huge, but I'm not 100% sure if it makes any difference, to be honest. So... We may actually... What does that say? Journal. The apparent leader organizing resistance in this town has died. Because of this, you can save the town by killing undead, but are not able to provide much assistance to the survivors themselves. Okay, what does that mean exactly? Hmm. Fire bottle. Um, guys, go over there, please. That was a fire bottle. I meant to use a bait bottle. Come on, guys. Go, go over there. Go over there, guys. You're not listening to me, are you? Why do you guys never listen to me? Oh, there we go. Undead Hunter rank 3. Nice. I will take that. Kill two undead bears, five undead wolves, and three undead cougars using a torch. Oh boy. Um, sure. Okay, well, we will we will cross that bridge when we get to it, I am sure. Famine, can you please stop following me around? Okay, so we have to go hunting bears. Cougars and wolves. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is going to go, to be honest. But we are going to find out. Because we are John Marston, son. And we are a little bit of a badass, apparently. John fucking Marston, son. There we go. Any more? What we do need. Blackwater has come under attack. Okay. In that case, I will do that off camera. Right, nice. Although, the temptation to go over and do it now is quite high. I will probably... I'm trying to think of the best way to, to hunt down bears and wolves and things as well. Town's been saved. Yes, yeah, so... Okay, I am... Curious as to what does that mean? Hang on, does that mean you don't get the gun?
if the resistance leader dies, do we not get a new weapon? Because that would mean a reload. Because when they say they can't offer you much assistance, I mean, they don't really offer you any assistance anyway. Hmm. It didn't mention us getting a new gun. Henry Repeater, explosive rifle, sawn off, torch. Ah, that's Schofield Revolver. That's new. But what exactly does that do? Hmm, ever so slightly more range than the double action. But the rate of fire is better on the double action, so we're going to keep using that. Okay, so yeah, alright, well I guess saving the town doesn't really do, or like if the leader dies of the town, doesn't really do anything negative? Uh, question mark? Never mind. And now what we don't want to happen is to have like loads and loads of towns under, under attack at once. That could be bad. Unless, maybe... Like, if too many people die in the town, they don't generate the green boxes anymore, which would kind of make sense, I suppose. Trying to make sense out of a zombie uh, game. But, you know what I mean. Kind of strange. Okay. Strange in a good way, though, you know? This game has been a barrel of fun. And uh, we're not done with it yet. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Now, if I was a chest, I would be here, apparently. Okay, that didn't seem to give us anything. Sometimes, um, either you don't get anything, or the game just doesn't tell you you get anything, which is kind of strange. Okay, so that one's saved. Let's go save this place. Come on, Dave. Where you at, buddy? Dave the Hungry. You're very welcome, my dear. You're very welcome. I will send you the bill later. But then I suppose you gave me a shiny gun, so... It's not all bad, I guess. You are forgiven. Now we just... <laughs> we just need to hunt loads of undead uh, animals with, with, with a torch, which... Well... I mean... That's going to be interesting. So I think that's... where's Cougars? I think hunting the bear is probably going to be our first priority. Well that looks like a Cougar. You know, I'm actually surprised how low resolution the... Ah, yeah, bears and tall trees, that makes sense. Um, I'm surprised how low resolution this map is. Okay. Well, we can possibly look into doing that in the next video. I will find some locations where they are definitely hiding. And we shall go from there. Uh, unless we come across any. Uh, if we come across any right now, we shall... Ooh, 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 ooh. What are they? They sound like coyotes. Oh, undead wolves. Um, well, John, you didn't want to live forever, did you, buddy? But they are definitely not wolves. I don't think. Are they? They're barking. I think it might just be dogs. Now, this is going to be news to me, because I didn't think you could kill them with, uh, with fire. I didn't think you could... Oh, they are barking. No, they are, they are coyotes, aren't they? Surely. And they are running from me as well, which is slightly awkward. I don't really want them to run from me. Come on, you mangy mutts. Let's do this. 
Honestly? You not you're not interested? Alright. You know what? Let's leave these squally mutts themselves. I'm pretty sure they're hyenas. Or coyotes, actually. Which means we don't care about them. So whilst the going's good and the game isn't bugging out left and right, let's just keep going. Keep furthering our plot. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I was going to look at. Uh, how far through the game are we? 60%. Okay. 60% complete. I'm happy with that. Oh. What is that? That is a wolf. Here, Wolfie. Here, Wolfie. Come yeah, on. Oh, there's a lot of them. As you'd imagine. Oh, he's on fire. Yes, come on, Wolfies. Meet your maker. Very slowly. And Oh, God. This is going to be way harder than I thought it would be. I mean, it's quite hard to actually just hit them. Oh, God. They are burning. We're just going to run in a circle. Shit. Well... <laughs> Uh, let's restart near town. Yeah, I don't think we managed to kill any. Which is problematic. Oh boy. Um, oh, collectibles. Oh, I see. Okay. Um... Challenges? No, we didn't. We didn't get any. Kill two out of two on dead bears. Bugger. Well, that's a little bit awkward. Um, where are we? Oh, God. You know what? Before we do anything, let's uh, just save the town. I think the best thing to do when we encounter wolves is kill all of them but one of them, or maybe two of them. And then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna hope for the best and try and burn one. It's very hard actually to hit the hit the wolves, as you'd imagine. There's an undead goat there. I mean, I mean, we could we could kill an undead undead goat. Is that a wolf? I'm not sure. The temptation is overwhelmingly strong to just stand here and kill them, but it's not wise. Who's crying? They're cougars. We don't care about cougars. Cougars can go suck a dick. An undead zombie dick, preferably. I'd imagine if... Uh, they are presented with with a living penis. Uh, they might get a little bit bitey, which is understandable, you know. Yeah. Might uh, mistake it for a big old fat sausage or something, which um, that that would not uh, not be very pleasant. Oh, I can hear barking. God damn it! What is barking? Now they're wolves. Okay, let's kill all except one of these wolves. Problem is, from what I remember, if you. Oh god, that did not work out very well, did it? Yeah. Okay. I think if you start killing the wolves, they run away. Oh shit, really? How many is there? Okay, to the house! To the house! To the house! And do you know what? Get off me. Do you know what I always forget actually? I forget our health items. Yeah, this... This is going to be extremely difficult, isn't it? I wonder what kind of health... What health items do we have? Not actually a lot. Moonshine. Medicine. Completely. We have one medicine. Snake oil refills dead eye meter. Horse pills. 
temporarily gives your uh, horse more stamina. Now, apparently, if you feed those to famine, it actually uh, fucks him up. Uh, it breaks him. It means he no longer has unlimited stamina. Um, I don't know if that's permanent. Refills the dead eye meter. Refills horse stamina. Oh, that's interesting. So the war horse, the actual horse that we start with, is actually apparently quite good. So yeah, we literally only have one medicine, which is kind of pointless in a way. Let's just get to the town. Let's not worry about the the dogs, of which there are actually loads of them. Car famine. I didn't think that was famine then. I, s I didn't see the, the white spot on his back. I was about to get a little bit upset. Right, Dave, let's ride. Let's get to town. So wolves are actually quite easy to find. Um, I th think fighting undead bears is going <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, John Maston, do I have a, a, a treat for you? Um, yeah. If you think you're, if you think you're not having a good time now, Mr. John, wait until we have to un hunt an undead bear. Or an undead cougar. With a torch. I don't make the rules, John. Okay. I don't make the rules. Alright. I'm sorry. But. But. Uh, it's just something that you need to do, my friend. And don't worry. You get ammo for doing it. You know. And uh, ammo is kind of useless at this point. Uh, lots of people need my help, my dear. If I stop and save you, I cannot help the nation. Remember, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the, the you. So, you know. Sorry. Not sorry. Now, problem with Stinky Dave is, um, he actually makes quite an annoying buzzing sound as you run. But uh, never mind, it doesn't really matter like that. I am not looking forward to uh, killing um, these animals, you know. I think it's going to be incredibly difficult. Oh, this place looks fancy. Las Hernandez, which leads me to believe we might get something really cool. Ah, oh, this is like a fort. I say it's not really like a fort, it is a fort. Ah, unknown. Come on, Famine. Somebody is not having a good time in there. Ooh. Ooh, that is, that's not good. That is the opposite of good. There you go, sister. That's affirmative action. You okay, sister? Well, I'm alive, senor. Although, come to think of it, I just committed a mortal sin. Claim self-defense. Always <laughs> works for me. Yes, well, I fear my judges may be a little more stringent than yours. Uh, but I appreciate the advice. Unfortunately, many of my nuns are not so resourceful as you or I. Their innocence will kill them, which is truly a terrifying reality. But then they'll go to God, know. so... I think maybe you would. But let us leave the psychotherapy and focus on more pressing matters. They are locked in the church, while hordes of, of, of these half-witted demons are, are trying mm -hmm. to get to them. It'd be my pleasure. You're a true Samaritan, sir. You know... They say the devil has all the best tunes. It may be so, but it seems he also has the most half-witted friends. So you know Bill Williamson then? Excuse me? Just a little joke. I'll do as best as I can to save the nuns. It's 
Definitely dead. It's missing uh, the overwhelming majority of its brain. Right, save the nuns. Um, well, what could possibly go wrong, guys? Apart from everything. You must save this town before continuing. Okay. Ooh, that's a nun. Nope, that is not a nun. That is a zombie. Okay, well, let's get to chopping. Sacrilegious. Yeah, I can see the town's under attack. And guess what? I'm also on fire, which is less than fantastic right about now. Okay, here we go. Nuns of the dead. I'm okay with this. But then, I'm okay with a lot of things. Hello! Come on, buddy. If you'd like to get up so I could stab you in the, in the neck, I would be quite happy. Wow, this is going to be a serious place to defend. Loads and loads of undead. Although they are nicely spread out, which is cool. Okay, going well so far. They're extremely spread out. Oh, you little son of a bitch. That will not do, sir. Oh, God. Um, please, John, do not pass out into a flaming barrel. Probably not the best place you can pass out in. If you're going to pass out in a barrel, make it a barrel of rum. That's where I'd like to pass out. In fact, if you were uh, head first in a barrel of rum, that would explain why you were passed out. Hey pal, it's a fantastic beard you have. It's kind of a shame that had to happen to you, really. There we go. What do you mean that wasn't nice? We're killing the undead. What's not nice about that? John, you're a strange man. And I'm okay with this. I like strange people. Strange people are the best people. There we go. Bloody normies. Come on. Oh, hello. Where are you going? Buddy, can you... Okay, we are attacking the air with utmost gusto. And that's good, I think. I think that's good. Nice. Come on, let's keep racking up that multi-kill. Multi-kill. I have the correct control pad for it. The Halo control pad. Ooh, hello. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Spitting all that green ooze at me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Run, John. John, you deserve that, actually. Ouch. My brain. My back. Ooh, it's okay, it's okay. We're, we're kind of good, we're kind of good. <sighs> Do you remember how weak and useless we were when this game woo, first started? Um, run, John. I like the way when he gets up, he, he sits around for a minute thinking about what's happened. It's like, hmm. Whilst the zombies are just like chewing his ass. Well, we're doing it. We are actually doing it. Oh, he, he's doing a bit of a dance there. That was sweet. Oh, God. Stay away. Stay away from the spitter. Oh, hey, pal. No, 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 no. You do not shoot that green shit at me, my friend. Not happening. Can you stop punching me, please? Thank you. You know, some of these zombies, you know, it's all about them. They need to be the center of attention. Like so many people I know. Ooh. Bang. That was uncomfortable. Slice. Well, it's a good thing our Tomahawk hasn't gone blunt yet. Otherwise, we really would be in trouble. Also, the, the Tomahawk is easily the best weapon in the game. Who would have thought that? I wonder if that was by design or if that's just how it played out. Hey, buddy. You're going up there to kill nuns? Not on my watch, I'm afraid. Oh wow, they are actually up on the battlements. Uh, pal, no. Good zombie. Good zombie. Why are we on fire? Like, we just walked past... We literally just walked past um, a container of fire. And it was on a box. It wasn't actually next to us. 
is extremely flammable uh, around here. I have a feeling we may be wearing phosphorus soaked clothing. Although phosphorus is more powder. Maybe we've dusted ourselves with it. Which would explain quite a few things. And there we go. This town has been saved. Yes, it has. What did we get for saving it? Must have got a weapon. Swarm off shotgun, explosive rifle, Henry repeater. No? Cattleman, re Cattleman revolver? That's the basic one. Yeah, I suppose we can use that one. Um, so we didn't get anything. As far as I'm aware. That's unfortunate. But I suppose we got something. It was part of a main mission, so. God damn it. I wanted lots of goodies. Um, John, can you please stop being so flammable? Yes. Yes, John, I know it hurts. Okay. You really need to stop being quite so flammable, sir. Oh, I can see. That pot actually is not containing the fire very well. Okay. You're forgiven, John. I now understand why you were burning. <clears throat> I'm not happy about the fact that you were burning, but uh, at least I understand it. Okay. Um, yep. Fire. Fire burns. Although, his skin is fairly resilient to the fire. Which is good. Alright, we don't really. Can't really be bothered to search your corpse. There's a lot of stuff around here. A lot of chests. I don't really know if there's any point in looting them all, though. But the trouble is, as a gamer, one cannot loot. One cannot not loot, I should say. Not not loot, yes. Yeah, we don't seem to be getting like anything for this anyway. So Let's just go save the game, and we shall call that a video. I mean, we have made a little bit of progress. That's this main town saved. Ah, yes, and off camera I will go and save... Uh, what's this place called... I don't know, but we will go save it anyway. Now, where is our bed? Through here, apparently. This can't be it. Nope, apparently it's not through there. It's not upstairs. Hmm. Do we, do we sleep outside? Calm down, John. It might not happen. John! Been over this. Maybe it is upstairs. Ah, yes. It's got to be one of these. Or, you know, maybe not. Oh. Aha! This one. Right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, I would have saved that town. And uh, we shall return. We shall return for more zombie hunting action. Till then, guys, thank you very much for watching.